Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. Welcome to the first reaction video that I'm recording in 2021. Um, it might not be uploaded like that, but this is the first video that I'm getting around to recording after the holiday period. Um, you may notice some changes in the background. Um, I got some really awesome gifts over Christmas and, um, well, you can see that my wall has changed slightly. I've moved some things around. I've taken some down. I've added some new stuff in. Um, I'm also looking to get some stuff to put onto this wall over here um, to make it look a little bit less drab, basically. Um, I'm changing the lighting in the background as well. Normally it's purple, but I'm going to keep it a nice, clean, crisp white because it improves video quality. So it's better that way. Um, but anyway... We are here to talk about our reaction video today, and that is to Firefly. This is Firefly episode number 10. And, um, well, we moved on from a very good episode last time out, which was Ariel, which was the hospital episode where, you know, to find out what's been wrong, what they've done to River, um, they needed to get her into a diagnostic machine, which was inside of this heavily um, guarded hospital. Um... And on the side, they would be able to pick up some drugs, which, you know, people want to use for different reasons. Mal wants to use it to, um, you know, give to the people in need in the Outer Rim. Very noble. Um, and, you know, other people want to sell them and make profit. Now, Jane was one of the main focuses of the episodes, and he actually did something I never expected him to really do. And that was him stabbing Mal in the back, trying to sell out the group um to the alliance and you know in the process he got himself arrested now thankfully he was able to break him out but mal was on to him and at the very end you know he said you don't get any more chances you know you stab me in the back again you know firstly do it to my face but also it'll be the last thing you do so it was it was a really good episode um shepherd wasn't in it um i'm guessing that was because Either the actor wasn't available or, you know, the idea of stealing drugs mightn't have fit in too well with his character narrative. So they wanted to, rather than having to go through that obstruction, they wanted to take the obstruction away, which is understandable. Um, and yet, in the end, they were able to really kind of deduce some of the parts of what was happening to, to River. And we also got to see the men in blue, um, you know, well, blue the blue hands. Um, and they are terrifying, you know, we saw them melt the brains of several people, innocent people, and um, show no remorse. And so, you know, you've got to think that if that's what they're doing to innocent people, just who get in the way, what were they doing to River? Um, so it was a really exciting episode. I really enjoyed it. And it was one of the first times we uh, got to see an Alliance planet, which... Albeit looked like a typical metropolitan city um, with a few kind of spruced up cars. You know, it's it was 2003. The budget wasn't exactly amazing. So, you know, you can forgive them for, you know, what it was. You know, it was it looked like the inside of a cargo tanker in the hospital. Um, but, you know, your imagination builds up the rest of it. And that's what I really kind of like about these older programs is that the inventiveness and the creativeness they have to use on the set pieces because they don't have access to high-tech cgi is really clever and you know i was thinking about this i was watching the hobbit last night and i was thinking about this with lord of the rings and comparing the two and you know the hobbit they use a lot more cgi and yeah it looks nice but it just doesn't look as authentic as when you use miniatures and when you use models and you know even with like the orcs the sort of practical makeup it doesn't look as good and that's because it's real you know um and so, you know, it's the same with a lot of these older shows. Sure, you may be able to tell what it is, but you can appreciate it because it's real. Whereas a lot of the newer stuff, it is very much about, you know, how much CGI can you pump into it to make it look futuristic and, and sharp. But, you know, I prefer the old way. Um, so anyway, after my little rant on sort of CGI usage, um, let's jump into the episode before we do. I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters going into the year 2021. Frank Trammell, Karen Abel, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, uh, Poban Hass, Tyrone Tyrone, Michael Y, uh, Mr. Greg 89, and Matt O'Keefe. So, yes, without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens next. No. The more I see, the more I think their purpose was very specific. And look at this, mm. the pattern. 
it seems to me like they were trying to tap into telepathy. But she's doing better. Because she's been able to connect with people. She's sleeping better. Oh, shit. That's... What's his name? Nista. I think. You could betray my trust. Bring him here to me. Very exciting. <laughs> I knew this was going to come back to bite them. Now we get to spend uh -oh. some time finding out about your true self. Mm. Tell me. Oh. Familiar with the works of Shang Yu? Yeah. It's like the Joker said. It's like the Joker said in uh, The Dark Knight. You know, I can't remember the exact phrase, but he was like, I knew your friends better than you did. So they can't really get access to fresh fruit out in space. Whenever we get fresh fruit, they never just munch on them. <laughs> I love how when they all get angry, they just revert to Mandarin. I thought. Then tell me, I am a large, semi-muscular man. I can take it. Don't hide behind Mal, because you know he'll shoot it down for you. Tell me. Right. Because what this marriage needs. It's one more shouting match. No, what this marriage needs is one less husband. Oh, that's a that's a that that was a sharp turn. I I thought he was going to say honesty, you know, but going straight for the divorce option. That's kind of like the nuclear button. I threw up on your bed. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Definitely my sister. She did it intentionally. Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Malcolm. He looks more like the villain from a bad B movie. We're all clear here, Captain. Oh shit, no, that he's a security guy. Oh <gasps> it's a woman! <laughs> Even the shepherd. <laughs> I, I knew she took female clients. I just they look so glamorous together. I think. Yeah, Jane needs private time. Also, ew. And I wouldn't mind sitting this one out. Oh, this is a fang sang fun clunk to chair, but I don't have time to unwind it. Yeah. Wash. I mean, these marriage problems came out of nowhere. I know they're both kind of volatile characters, but... Bye, hon. We promise not to stop for beers with the fellas. So, are we going to sing army songs or something? Oh, Wash, this isn't a joking time. Okay, so what's happening on the two shuttles could not be any more different. Look, we have two same-sex pairings, but they could not be any different. Any more different. The pair you have. Yeah. Stuff legends are... Uh-oh. Oh, it's gonna be... Oh, shit! We know who that is. Oh, God, Jane. Jane! Spot for him! Spot for him! He's going to break his goddamn neck. <laughs> oh, really? Not like that. Not like that. He was going to go grab a, his weapon, just not the way you thought. We'll take the mule. 
Don't mean a thing, but you're making out like she blindly follows my every word. That ain't true. Sure it is. Not so. There's plenty of orders of mine that she didn't obey. Name what? She married you! Oh, shit. Well, that was a tense bit to leave on. Oh, ho. It tends to cause problems. It splits loyalties. <laughs> Don't I think? What? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What, Wash? What do you think? Because I'm interested. There's bigger things going on here, gents. Relationships. You never slept with my wife? Oh, matter of fact, you know that for sure, do you? You ever ask her? Oh. oh okay. We've been together for a long time before you came along, Wash. This is such an odd situation. They're being tortured, and yet their only focus is on each other. I'm gonna sleep with your wife. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> uh. Yes. And to me they are worth more. Yeah. I think this is not enough. Not enough for two. But for one. Oh no. And then see who just he's doing this intentionally. I'm sorry. You don't ask me to choose, right? She went straight for wash. You should have some small refund. Oh no. Oh my god. That's... You know what? I think you should keep the change. I should have said that first and foremost. Keep the change. <laughs> oh, jeez. For now. Take that to the infirmary. Put it on ice. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you mind? need to reattach it. We're getting them back. What are we going to do? Clone them? <laughs> oh, Gene. Jane. Jane. Oh. Do you know the writings of the Shan Yu? Yes, he does. I see what you're doing. You're starting a book club? You really think you can mount a two man frontal assault on this, this guy, Plex, and Lip? Oh, it's just going to be those two. One woman assault. The unisex. Please tell me they're gonna kill Niska with those little the little yeah. grenade. They won't be expecting it. Right. Just give him an apple. That's my man. You guys better get down to the bay. We'll be at their front door in less than a minute. I like how he <laughs> washes dressed like John McCain at this point. You know, just like the tank top and the the bare chest. Yippee ki yay. Oh, the quad bike! It was a decoy! Yeah, here we go! Grenade! This is it kind of dangerous putting a gr Oh my god! I was thinking grenade on a space station. What if it goes through the hole? Oh! Oh, nice! You shouldn't have left him alone. Looks like business ain't running so much as crawling away. You want to meet the real me? Oh, fuck. Kaylee, come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Go on, go on, River. Can't look, can't look. Holy shit. Jane. 
There's something the captain has to do for himself. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's like, no, no. Could really do with some help. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She knows something a bit strange about River. Maybe they're trying to make her a weapon. I must have done good. Yes, dear. You've done good. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Did you tell her? Remember the promise he made? Your husband's demanded that we sleep together. Yeah. Really? What? Now, come on. But you and I have to get it on. Is that Jane in the background? I understand. We have no choice. Take me, sir. Take me hard. <laughs> Something about that is just downright on the table. Oh my god. Take me hard. We'll be in our bunk. So, another rather bizarre but really good episode. Um, I knew the Niska stuff would come back to eventually bite them in the backside. I just wasn't sure when. And, um, I mean, surely they must have known that Niska had a space station just around the side of the planet. I mean, it wasn't like they were far away. They were literally on the same planet. And, um, you know, a space station isn't exactly a, a small thing, an easy thing to miss. Uh, but I really like this episode. It, it, at first, the, the stuff between Wash and Zoe, like the marital issues, that kind of seemed to escalate fairly quickly. And, you know... I know that in a show that is limited in terms of, you know, I guess it'd been planned to be 14 episodes. So you, and, and I guess they imagine that they would have another season or so to go into character backgrounds and develop them a little bit more. Um, but with, you know, the limited time they've had, I guess they felt the key, they, they could just push out the, um, the marital issues about going through the kind of fillery stuff beforehand. And, you know, I suppose Zoe and Wash have been married for a while now. And, you know, they're not exactly the most conventional couple when it comes to, like, their feelings. You know, they are they are kind of... Um, I don't know how really to say it. It's kind of strange how they act, you know. Um, they're either at each other's throats, you know, or... They're, they're getting on really well. There's this kind of no in between. Um, and this was like taken to another level where it's literally like this marriage has one. This ha marriage, you know, needs sort of less husbands in it. I was like, what? What's going on? I thought you were going to be like, this needs more honesty. Um, but then the whole conversation with Mal and Wash when they were getting tortured, that was utterly bizarre in of itself because you had Niska there who was quite clearly enjoying seeing them be each other's necks. Though he probably had no real context to it. So he was probably sitting there thinking, what the hell is this? I don't know, but they're, they're, they're really hating on each other right now. So I'm going to sit back and enjoy. Um, and, you know, that that was just so bizarre. He's like, the first thing I'm going to do when I get back on the ship is I'm going to sleep with your wife. And I'm like, what? What? And then he literally did propose it. He was like, <laughs> he was like, you know, I've been told that I need to sleep with you. And then Zoe's like, take me hard. And I was like, okay, okay, that's where we're going with this. Uh, but I love the fact that the whole group kind of took up arms to to defend, um, you know, Mal and, and try and get him back, you know. And, and obviously Zoe, who has probably never fired a weapon, you know, before, was the only one who didn't necessarily feel comfortable. The one thing it did kind of reveal to me is that I do think now, at first I was thinking, what are they trying to do with River? And I was thinking maybe they're trying to make her into a telepath because we've seen that she's been able to connect with people who are not able to speak. Um, and, you know, those kind of areas of the brain have been unexplored. So I was sat there thinking maybe that's what they're doing. And now I'm thinking that maybe on top of that, they're trying to make her into a weapon, like an ultimate soldier. Because we saw that she didn't need to look. And she just fired three shots, killed three people. So it makes me think that that's what they're trying to tap into. To make the ultimate sh uh, soldier. Which, you know, sounds like a secret government organization. Sounds like something they do. 
Um, but yeah, no, this was this was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it, and um, once again, just the quirkiness of it is something that makes it really great, makes it really entertaining. So, um, you know, I, I I do appreciate that element of it. Um, but yeah, so in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. We've only got four more episodes to go, which is kind of heartbreaking. And then we've got the movie. And then we've got some new stuff coming up. Um, Lucifer has just won the latest poll, so that is going to be coming soon. And then we've got WandaVision coming up as well, which I'm going to react to. I think that's only going to be like six episodes. So uh, that'll be another short series. But um, yeah. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will, uh, I'll see you for the next one.